Each year, residents of Fairfax County experience a variety of severe weather events. From wind to rain to snow, these events make roadways more dangerous to both motorists and pedestrians. During a recent snowstorm, we asked about the implementation of the Fairfax County Police Department's accident policy, what it means, and how it affects you. Lieutenant Mark Blackington explains. Accident policy will be implemented when there are such uh, conditions such as high winds, electrical storms, hurricanes, tornadoes. Um, it's when the resources are overwhelmed, it's important that they handle uh, more priority complaints. Uh, an accident where there is no injury involved, we will uh, ensure that the drivers are okay, exchange full information, meaning registration and license information, and then we would tell them to clear the scene immediately. Uh, we will not take the, uh, uh, the report. We will provide the officer's name along with the event or case number. Lieutenant Blackington also explained which events take priority over minor motor vehicle accidents and who makes the decision to implement the accident policy when severe weather moves through the county. Uh, Life-threatening conditions versus uh, circumstances of uh, property damage only. The duty officer who is, uh, oversees all eight district stations during uh, that tour shift, uh, he uh, assesses the circumstances throughout the department and when he deems it's necessary, he implements the policy. We also asked Lieutenant Blackington about additional measures taken to help provide services to the public during inclement weather. During inclement weather, we take additional measures to provide police services. Some of these measures we take are utilizing chains on vehicles, four-wheel drive vehicles, and pairing up officers. Sergeant Jeffrey Thompson provides a few post-storm tips. Once the storm has passed and conditions have improved, avoid venturing out unless absolutely necessary. Please obey all temporary signs and police direction. Residents should also try to avoid parking vehicles on the side of residential streets. Centerville resident John Hunter explains why. Well, it snowed, as everybody knows. It's like at least two feet. Uh, we didn't measure it because we didn't have a yardstick that deep. But uh, I was able to wait till today to shovel it out, and I've been shoveling here probably about an hour, probably another half hour before I can get out. But with more snow coming, I mean, you got to do it when you can. And, uh, and if parking on the side of a street is your only option, be prepared to shovel out your vehicle. As John tells us, the snow's got to go somewhere. Yeah, well, the plows create a berm on either side that people have to dig through the berm to get to their car or get their car out. And I don't know what they can do about it, but uh, I mean, they have to clear it. The snow's got to go somewhere. I would not go anywhere unless you have to. And then be careful. Um, it's just uh, crazy to drive as fast as some of these people drive. They think they have control if they have four-wheel drive, but four-wheel drive won't help you if there's black ice or, you know, stuff like that. One person who definitely agrees with John is Willow Springs rollback driver Scott Zyman. Slow down just because you're driving four-wheel drive doesn't mean that you can go wherever you want too fast. Scott also explains that most of those who ignore his advice usually end up needing his services. Yeah, the majority of our calls in the conditions like this are accidents, people sliding into ditches, getting stuck. Uh, they really should stay home due to the conditions, but they tend to venture out, they get cabin fever, and that's what we're here for. If you must drive, Clear your vehicle of snow and ice. The snow and ice could become dangerous projectiles later if you don't. And above all, please be patient with the other drivers out on the roadway.